Hey, let's let's intimidate her. The end of your turn in step two intimidated. Unplayable. Okay. Your delegator, reduce your opponents. Yeah, when your damage spills over against Jati's arguments, it targets your core argument instead. Whoa. Whoa. Which means, essentially, that we want to be targeting her core argument more than her sub arguments, including these bounties. In step two, intimidated. Yikes. Okay. I don't really want to destroy core argu or destroy those arguments anymore. What's up, Ice? Thanks, man. That's a really tough uh, core argument, I think. Argus an opponent argument each turn for two two damage, and actually, like <laughs> some of these things might just get killed by accident. Yes, we'll do this. Get this one doubled. We'll go composure up here. And then this doesn't seem to carry over into the next round. We've got her down to our level, though. Okay, good. This one's getting targeted. That's in a bit of trouble. Influence is good here. See, this would be a ton of damage to us if we kill any of these, so that's not happening. This core argument was added in the latest patch. It's the only thing you hate about the game. Really? I like it. I like that it's like, this has provided a much more significant challenge. And like, yeah, so she keeps dropping in these grindstones. E, Dude. See, if we can target these with, like, low damage, you know, that's, that's what we want. Ooh, this could actually... This could be good. It's low damage. The overages would be minimal. We could essentially clear her entire thing here, almost. And we have composure to eat up any of that overages, any of those overages. Yeah, buddy. That was sick. Hostility cards deal an additional plus two. Yeah, good. This thing's going down hard, so I might as well just play this. We'll incept some vulnerability here. Okay. Additional four damage. Yo. When destroyed, your core argument gains 10 composure. Yeah, that would be sick, wouldn't it? Um, I 
We would gain 10. We we're going to use up this three from the overage, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Oh. I thought that, that would remove some more uh, composure there because of the overage. I'm happy about it. Let's go here, spend that influence for the four additional damage. Okay. <laughs> Can they play cards even if they have no function to gain XP? Uh, yeah, you're right, actually. You're 100% right. If they're not already upgraded, yes. 100% I should. Like, sometimes I leave those, uh, the double damage ones sitting there. You're 100% right. Get out of dodge. The card destroys an argument, gain dominance. Target argument loses two, and we gain two. Spend influence. No. Graft upgrade. Okay. Oh, we're cruising. Look at this. 40 resolve now. Two upgrades. Draw for each or have a higher damage range. I like the draw. So now we have two of those. And we'll take the six damage on influence. Let's see you follow through A. Okay, let's see it. GT dislikes me. Well, sucks for you. It's just a dislike. Could be worse. Now we need to investigate the hideout. Kilka is rumored to be holed up nearby. See if she's still there. Be back. Can we drive over people? What do you mean drive over people? We don't even have like a vehicle. We just run. We're runners. Here we are. You ready? Kilka emerges. Convince Kilka to come along peacefully or attack. See, now, what I like about this, and something we haven't talked about too much, is um, depending on how your decks go, like, because because our attack deck or our battle deck is so much weaker than our uh, negotiation deck, in this run, we're doing so many more negotiations, right? Because it just makes more sense. Our attack deck is not even that bad. Um... She's going to dislike us either way, but the point I'm trying to make is in future runs, this might play out totally different. You just don't have any great negotiation cards and you have to play uh, more of your battles and fight to like keep moving on. So in either way, she's going to dislike us. I actually think like in this scenario, because of her rating, it might just be better to attack. Right? What have they done to the new YouTube layout? What do you mean? Did YouTube change something? Let's see. Looks the same to me. Looks the same to me. Um, she's she's worse in fighting, so it seems like that would be the easier option for us. We can let her live. We don't have to kill her. The end of her turn, apply two heal. Yeah, so she's doing five here. Let's go defense. First attack each battle applies three wound. We should try and save this, I guess. This will help us in the future. Yeah, let's do this for our improvise setup. Tyrannosaurus Toad Crackle. No, this is our pet. This is uh, this is our Shrooglet, Walter the Shroog. Oh, speaking of, Walty's back. Yeah, so he's taken 11, 19 over here. Holy smokes. Next attack on this fighter does double damage and removes one defect. Oh. All right, he can handle it. 
Let's go improvise cards. Yep. Oh, hold up. Remove a random debuff. Now... Can I use this on other people? No. <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> penguin, I got you. Hey, Walty. From Radioactive Penguin. He loves you. He's so happy. Okay, we want to be improvising. This card's almost leveled up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. Seven more. Yeah, the screw self heals on attacks. We learned that earlier too. Double the panic meter. Okay, so here's one thing I'm curious about, like. Like, where do you see how much panic they currently have? Like, I get that this number's working down. So when you double the panic meter, uh, how does that work? I'm going to find out. HP minus the panic number is the panic amount. Oh. So 10 minus... It's the white part of the bar. So 10 minus 4, so 6? So if I do this... Minus 5 morale. Plus 10. What the... That's a bit confusing to me. Oh, you can right-click them to see it? Oh... Okay, I wish I would have did that. Okay, thanks. That's a good that's a good tip. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um Surrender, I guess. What's the card? Five indoctrination. What's indoctrination? That seems like something like some type of like mind control. Apply three bleed, then tar deal damage equal to the target's bleed. That could work. Discard up to two cards, gain one temporary power. Improvise, or just do another improvise card. We kind of have a mix between bleed and improvise in this deck. I mean, this, it, depending on when this hits, this could be huge, but I think these are more consistent for us. Let Donatello live. Okay, here's our wind-up card. So now this is dealing six. Or if we discard, increase the damage of this card by two. Yeah, this doesn't help me at all. So we'll just take the extra damage on it. Hilka hates me. When you murder a member of Rise, lose two max resolve. That doesn't seem too bad. That doesn't seem too bad. Turn over Kilka. Let's go. Track down Ferdinand's quarters within the sprawling military complex. Place is crawling with Admiralty. It would be a suicide to start a fight here. Yeah. I can see that. Here you go. I bet you will. Ain't that cute. You don't get to see grifters working together. Here's your payment. Sort out the details yourselves. 140 shills. And a graft. Okay. Whenever you expend a card, draw a card. We have a lot of expend cards. This is a combo thing. It's not going to work well. Attacking targets affected by bleed grants two defense. I think we take this if we can find something to replace it with. Maybe we replace Snap Talon.
where are we at for bleeds? Yeah, may, you know what? I thought we had more bleed cards for some reason. We really... We have this. We have we have three cards. Blade Mouth Beating, Sal's Bloody Daggers, and Sharpen. But we do have a lot... Well, actually, we have more expense in our negotiation deck, don't we? We have these two. We have this one for three, four... Uh, five. Doesn't matter since Rise has no real presence here. The other character sees more Rise. Oh, you're talking about the, the Bane, yeah. You have the Assassin passive bleed as well. That's true. <laughs> Thank you. Mega Mogwai? Holy smokes. 638 viewers. What the heck is up? Thank you. Um, I just feel like what are we going to what would we replace here? This like this only applies one time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Zarog, you got it, buddy. Hey, Walty. This is for you, dude. This is from Zarog. Enjoy. He gets so many treats down here. Uh, oh, let's give him a generous share. And then he'll love us. And we'll finally learn what his, uh, what his boon is. Sopesana. Sasokusha. Apply one bonus defense on all cards that apply defense. That's actually not so bad. Not so bad. This game is so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. I'm going to I'm gonna see if we can get to the end of day three here. Today. We are at nighttime already. Here's that roadside market now. Renderno has found a juicy target to rob. Or, Sparrath Ashgore to upgrade one of your battle cards. This will cost some health. Juicy target to rob. So this is probably money, and this is probably... Well, this is an upgrade card. Let's upgrade a card. Upgrade Doom. This is where you double the, the uh, panic. Upgrade Faint. It's almost upgraded anyways. Elbow Strike's almost upgraded as well. So I guess we just take this. We lose 1 HP. That seems fine. Double the Panic Meter of all enemies. Or make it cheaper. Let's make it cheaper. Cool. That's our first time having one of those. Okay, let's go to the Roadside Market. I want to see if there's any additional training we can do. Uh, Frolic of the Beasts. I need this guy to like me more. Ninety-four for this. You try not to listen as Frolic of the Beast gets to work. Weird. Looks healthy if a bit wary. <laughs> Poor guy. What did you do to him back there? We could. Oh, hold on a sec. Can I get this guy now? Oh, you can only have one pet. All right. Six power and krilled up. But these are destroy. I'm going to pass on destroy cards. I actually think uh, we should buy a graph spot here. Oh, but we lose 15 HP. God, that's a lot. That's a lot. And we're coming up on our final uh, battle here. Whenever you shuffle your deck, deal three damage. Whenever you play three manipulate cards in a row, deal four. Increase the maximum damage of all cards by one. Is 
That could be interesting. This will keep... I, I don't know. I think we just keep them. Maybe if I add the grass slot and then buy it. That's 225. Yeah, we could afford it. Graft spave worth buying. Is that the... Uh... Oh, which one are you talking about? What do you mean graft spave? CML, thanks for coming. Oh yeah, we could buy those fish cakes too. That's true. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's um, let's add this. Then I'm gonna buy this pawn's might. Increase the maximum damage of all cards by one. And then let's go see if I can heal this up. Looks worried, but you'd be worried too if your bar was smoking. We have a problem. Some of the supplies I need to finish this up are contraband. I see where this is going, but I don't know how to stop it from getting there. You want to be gently shook from your slumber by a new assassin each night? I need you to head down to the docks and grease the wheels. Also, never get this done. Is this really necessary? We've done all right so far. Sure, if you don't count last night. I'm alive, aren't I? Might not have gone that way. It might have gone very different. Okay, I guess we're going to the docks. Feel free to take my bouncer. Might take some convincing, though. Okay. Okay. How much are the drinks? Oh, this... Oh, here we go. Oh, this is not bad at all. This is our first time having to buy this. That's almost too cheap. It's almost too cheap. Okay, let's see if we can convince them. Is she now? You're her employee, right? You do jobs and she pays you? This would be another one of those times. Just and I have a very specific understanding of what is or isn't my job. So we have to convince her. Okay, let's do it. Booty cam? Just be thankful it's not mine. Okay. Oh, I mean, this is pretty nice. Let's improvise a card here. Let's go composure to maybe block this. Nope. Should have maybe just played this one a bit earlier. This isn't going to be a lot of damage. I'm actually going to try this. If that's going to get killed... Actually, here. I can save it. Let's do this. Okay. Max damage means more of a chance, but it should still be good. I mean, I think this is, I think it's pretty solid. Like the high end of all of these is really nice. Plus with our um, influence cards, we play the um, the diplomacy cards a lot. And so these damage ranges are like solid. So they all get that boost. What is this? Intents and previews are hidden. So that's four. We can just kill it with this. Now we see they're attacking here for four. This is free. Let's give the defense there. Go dominance. We're starting to get the hang of things, you guys. Things are cruising. 
free permits. Oh, I should have played that again. That's great. Starting to get the hang of things, guys. Screws up right next to that. Excellent. Let's do it like this. There. That's even cooler. Now it's dead anyway. <laughs> it worked, okay? It worked. Improvise one random hostile card. Plays one, cost one less until played. Spend an influence. Lose an influence. This one's okay. I don't mind these intrigues. Hey, Dan's working. Easy. Going for style points? You have to. Even if they're even if you don't know that you're aiming for them. Talk your way through or attack the go Ooh, pretty strong. When does the quarantine lift? No clue. Something's off at the boat. The skipper's not responding to signals. Okay, we can talk our way into this. So he's got the planted evidence thing. She's adding this. Reduces damage by 33%. Okay, not bad. And he's going for this one. It's going to survive. Free smarts. We go boosted. Uh, dominance first. Oh, that rolled really low. But this is going to hurt a lot. Wait, if I do this, this might even hurt more. This will be... Uh, well, I don't have any influence to spend. Forget it. Nice. Oddler needs to learn about Pendus. What is Pendus? Such an interesting looking game, but the learning curve seems so steep. Honestly, it's not. If you just play it from the beginning, you would be totally fine. If you come in right now and you see all of this, you're like, what the frick? Yeah, I can see that part, but. That will be fine. May as well just play this one. Okay, that'll do. Let's go here. So he's got a frisk out, so we start losing some cash here. Nice. This is going to take three. That's okay. He's not uh, He's not attacking the evidence. Let's go uh, influence. We'll do this and spend some of that influence. And he's going to die here, actually. So we're cool. Easy peasy. Draw a card, return the next card you play to your draw pile. Ooh. That ain't bad. If this card destroys an argument, gain a dominance. Improvise a card from your discard. I'm going to take Segway. Three influence and three composure? Yes. Ooh, ambush though. Ambush though. I think we take ambush. So we play this at the beginning of every, of every round now. And we finally have a way to get influence, like, reliably. Right? You like the... Oh! Are you talking about Bedmas? Like that thing? What is that? Uh, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Get learned! Yep. Make we're into the deck of the Roalock ship. You come across an Admiralty officer. Glint of small box catches your eye from a pile of contraband. Should delay the auction because their goods are held up? You let more ships in and that's exactly how infection spreads. Or are you too much of an ignoramus to follow? 
Figure this is a good time to break the tension. Okay, what are you doing here, Grifter? This is a secure area. Okay. So... Cut a side deal with Ferdinand to get the package. And it's easier. He's only 30 resolve because he likes us. Offer to attack the Admiralty. Convince Ferdinand to end the quarantine. Uh, but he's got 60 resolve. Or grab the package and make a break for it. I think we... We put Ferdinand in danger. What, what's the worst that could go... What's the worst that could happen? More planted evidence. Okay. Cards expelled, so there's nothing to put on top of your deck. Does Segre worth work with expel? No. Hey. So this one's getting hit. It'll be fine. Uh, we'll gain smarts here for more actions. And... Let's get some damage going, maybe. Or we can incept... Let's incept some vulnerability here. And let's just fully protect this one. Oh, brackets instead of parentheses. That's what people call it? Okay. We could spend one of our influence for an additional chunk of damage here. If we go Evil Eye, that's a significant chunk of damage. Insert a Baffled card into Sal's draw pile at the beginning of the turn. Let's do this. That's our biggest damage output that we've had in like six to seven hours of playing. Two cards and upgrade them for this negotiation. Could be interesting. We have a lot of cards that are already upgraded though. We're only, there's only like two cards in our deck. Three cards that could be upgraded. Random enemy argument. By evoke improvise a zero cost card from your discard pile. We'll pass. Looks above board. Be sure to register if you construct this into any, I don't know, weapons or traps. Wait, hold on. You grifters have a lot of nerve, but if one package is all you want, it's easy enough to give a simple inspection. Typical inspection. Exceptions abound. When someone with power and influence walks through. Power and influence? You mean me? This package is unusual, but I can release it to you, Hunter, assuming your license is in order. Oh, sure. Sometimes I forget I have this. Looks above board. Be sure to register if you construct this into any, I don't know, weapons or traps. Those require different paperwork. Yeah, we'll do. No prob. You almost make it when you hear a gurgling from across the bow. A hulking beast heaves itself out of the water, shaking off droplets that sizzle on contact. Ferdinand rushes to your side, her mouth twisted in anger. Is this going to be the boss? Yeah. Holy smokes. So we're going to have... Uh, we have us, we have Ferdinand helping us, we have Ban, and we have Walter the Shrug. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> this, the, the monster looks like Walter's dad. He kind of looks like, uh, the, like the Gringe, actually. With that little thing on the head. Maybe it is Walter's dad. We'll find out. We'll panic whenever an ally panics or dies. Yeah, let's just not let that happen. We'll run away if the Shroog is killed. I mean, yeah. He has one power whenever an ally dies. Well, that's interesting. So the question becomes... He's got 15 defense as well. The question becomes, do we kill these guys and give them that extra power? Because these guys are all, each putting out a lot of damage.
Ooh. This would heal us nicely. Just so that we go up to the 75 there. He gains a power there. See if that comes back to bite me. Let's go wounds here. These guys are all taking heavy damage, though. Woo! Are they Pokeballs in this game? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, everyone's still fine. We're getting healed here. He's taking bonus damage. I'm going to get rid of the little dudes. We'll apply some bleed here. And he's got this is a huge health pool to chew through. The cripple's good. Okay, he's actually going for some type of buff. Uh, we don't. Well, we have no debuffs. We could do some heals here. I think we'll do one heal. Do an improvise. Uh, does he have... I, I don't know if he has any armor here. No. Okay, good. Let's do this. Oh, he calls in more dudes! Okay. That changes things. Because these guys... What are they hitting for? Three. Three. So I guess the strategy is to leave these guys, right? Uh, we can pierce armor here. Improvise and it's going to do more damage. Uh, let's take this one. And stack bleed here. Not bad. We're just going to have to use our buddy's HP pools here. Are there AoE attacks? Uh, this guy seems to hit AoE. He hits everyone. Um, but these little guys don't. Had we known that they respawn, I wouldn't have brought these guys. I wouldn't have killed them. Because we buffed his, his power. And if we keep killing them, we keep buffing that power. Uh, he also doesn't have a panic meter. Next attack deals double, so let's go here. And... Who's our most fragile? Little Walty? We can't control that if they're going to kill these guys randomly. Okay, he needs some help here. Our power is getting buffed too, though, so... He's not taking any damage here. Uh, we could stack some more bleed here instead of going with five defense. Good job, Walty. He's gone again. You think the shrugs are cute? Yeah, they're little badasses, though. 
Okay, these guys are all fine-ish. He's going to heal himself. Your attacks deal two bonus damage to targets with bleed. Yeah, good. That's coming in handy. Oh, I should have probably went deception there for the plus three. Either way. Uh, I think we're going to beat him, you guys. Holy smokes. Ooh. So deal 11. And he takes four. And then he... Yeah, no, he's he's going to die. <gasps> Walter with the killing blow to bite to the gonads. Holy smokes. Apply two wound, gain two power. Not bad. Not bad at all. Stab is upgraded. Forces us to discard. Let's go with draw. Remove a random debuff. Apply six defense. Uh, we don't get a lot of debuffs. Let's go six defense. Spend up to three combo. Deal two bonus damage per combo spent. Or gain three counter. That'll be better for us. And then six to six piercing or four to eight. Let's go six to six. I like to know what the cards are going to do. Negotiation. Whenever you expend a card, draw a card, expend. This would be good in our negotiation deck. We have a lot of expends in there. Improvise one random hostile card. Whenever you play a diplomacy card, apply to... Yeah, let's go here. Walter is the Scrooge King. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whenever you play a card, gain one defense. Combo points spent through the rest of the turn? No. For the rest of this turn, gain counter equal to half of any attack damage you deal. Uh, yes. That seems pretty strong. Never seen a Royal Lackian aberration quite like that. It was lucky you were here, Hunter. You can keep that parcel as payment. It'll I'll turn a blind eye to its contents just this once. As long as it's not from the Roalok. Roalok? Roalotch. Roalotch. Roway lock. So it's got to be one of those. Ferdinand rallies her troops for a cleanup brigade. Oh. Guys. I don't want to get too excited here. Wash my hands. Why? Ah, eh, don't worry about it. It's probably fine. You'd look good with a few extra warts anyway. You're a good kid, Sal. Now go on, get some rest. I'll get to work at the bar. You guys want to play with Walter? Let's play with Walter first. Come here, buddy. I don't know what the point of this is. I don't know if there's some weird, like, behind-the-scenes thing that happens if you, like, pet them every once in a while. The quest is called Roa Lok. Lock. Oh! And load. Roa Lock. And load. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, let's rest. Your bed calls to you. You've worked too hard to stay up worrying. Sleep claims you quickly. Okay, guys, that's day three done. Day four and five tomorrow, I think. Something about the sunlight here feels murky and thick like a sludge tide. There's no use sleeping in. You only got your got back in the Grifflands, and you've already made yourself an enemy too powerful to ignore. Nothing for it but to forge ahead and hope you can make some allies to match. I don't know. I think we're in a good spot. When you come out of your room in the morning, Fish looks noticeably uncomfortable. Hey, Sal, you have a visitor. Oh? Nadan. 
It's a good setup you have here. Booby traps and fish with her eye in the door. Not bad for a Derek. Nice to see you too, Nadan. You want a drink? Hmm. Maybe next time. Time for you to prove your worth. I got a big job for you tonight. Needs your full attention, so come to me when you're ready to focus. You do this and do it right. Hesh, I'll help you take down Cashio myself. Well, tomorrow's the big day, is it? Better get ready for it. I got a couple more jobs you can do to prepare. Find me when the sun goes down. I'll tell you what you need to know. Cool. So it seems like we're going to try to get him to uh, to help us. Guys, <laughs> Lord Josh says, I'm hooked. I think I have to watch the VODs from the previous days. Yeah, do it. Uh, I will have all of uh, the previous stream uploaded today on YouTube. So one is going to go up at 5, one's going to go up at 8. Uh, today's stream will go up tomorrow at like 10, 5, and 8. And then tomorrow's stream will go up the next day at 10, 5, and 8. So, yeah. You ever notice that your about thing on Twitch says I play all types of games? No? I have it set wrong or what? Somebody else pointed out that my link to Twitter doesn't work. Uh, but I fixed that today too. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it. Welcome to my Twitch channel. I'm play all types of games. God! How come nobody's ever told me this before? <laughs> my God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's this clip? Fight to the gonads? Yeah, he went right in there. Good job, Walter. I'm going to save that to our uh, to our clips. All right, guys. All right. Uh, who is it that pointed out Apivar? Apivar? You still here, buddy? I got so I got something for you. I got something for you, Apivar. You just hold your... Hold on one second, Apivar. Am I spelling this right? Let me double check. A-P-I-V-A-R. All right, man. There you go. I gave you, I gave you a sub. I hope you, uh, I hope you come back. If you don't, then, you know, whatever. But enjoy it. Uh, it's a gift. Take it. It will give you strength. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. But uh, tomorrow, so I, I did, I do want to try the new character, but like, I didn't, I didn't actually expect that we would be this good through this far into this run for our first time ever. So I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to like, we're going to go fast. We're going to go real fast, as fast as we can. Uh, and then if there's time at the end of the stream, we'll try out the second unlocked character that we have. Does that sound good to you? Because I'd like to, I think just like leaving this hang and then going on to the second character is going to feel like, you know, I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to feel ripped off, you know? Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow, uh, 12 noon Eastern. And we'll finish the, this run and hopefully get a chance to check out the other guy, even if it's just for like 20 minutes or something, just to kind of see what the different play styles are like. Thank you guys so much for uh, all the support. I really appreciate it. Um, my name is Jeff says day five goes fast. Oh, okay, good. Good to know.